welcome back to a new vlog. It's actually Sunday morning when I'm starting this vlog. It's been such a nice Sunday morning. The past kind of week and a half, I will say ever since moving, things have just really been a whirlwind in the best way possible. It's been so, so much fun. We moved, my mother-in-law has been in town. We had our little gender reveal party. And then we've also just had so many friends in town. And one of our goals when having this house and just renting it for the next bit was really just to invite people over, have people over a lot. And I don't think there has been a night where, I think there's been one night or maybe a couple of nights, not too, too many where it's just been the two of us. And so it's kind of nice this morning having just a quiet morning. Yeah, I have just been doing my devotions and reflecting and I really do feel like the verse that talks about my cup running over, it has just felt like that so much lately. I feel like I've just had a shot of life lately and yeah, I'm so thankful, but also just really grateful for a quiet morning. So excited to go to church this morning. Our friends are gonna come with us too while they're in town. They're in town for the next month and a half. Our friend Justin has an internship here, so it's nice to have friends to go to church with. And yeah, that's at 11, but it's about nine o'clock right now. I need to go ahead and put some dishes away. We've been cooking a lot and just making dinner with everyone. And so I have a lot of cleanup today. So just took Mr. Cash for a walk. He's been sitting up here with me while I eat breakfast and do my devotional. I think that we'll grab some breakfast after church. And then I wanna do some house stuff when I get back. There are a few little things that I wanna get done. For one, I wanna build some nightstands for our guest room and possibly hang some stuff in there. I feel like that room's gonna be pretty simple to put together. And so I'll share the nightstands that I got. They're so, so nice. They're from Nathan James. We'll do that. I'd love to get a workout in too. We just started going to our new gym, which we really like. It's nothing fancy. It's just kind of bare bones, the gym, but I don't know. There's something about it that is just very family oriented and it's a nice place to work out in. So thinking about getting a run in, that sounds nice. Would love to make us dinner and just have kind of like a chill night at home. And then tomorrow I'll probably vlog through Tuesday. I'm thinking for this vlog. So we should have lots to share, just normal life, kind of getting into a routine at home, which is always my favorite. It's really fun kind of establishing new morning routines and figuring out your groove when you move into a new place. I think it's a lot of fun. So take you guys along with. I picked up these gladiolas. I think I'm saying that right from Trader Joe's, but they're so beautiful when I got them, which by the way, this was $7 for all of these. I just think they're so pretty, but none of them had really bloomed. I got these for our little gender reveal. I wish they had blue ones too, but they're so, so pretty. And then I also have some over here. I also have them right here in this face and they're just so stunning and so affordable. So I wanted to mention that if you see them, they really don't look like they bloom a lot when you purchase them, but they turn so pretty. My mother-in-law also helped me plant some flowers outside. I cannot wait to do a lot in the backyard. Our sprinklers just went off. This is gonna be a project probably more so for July that I would like to work on, even though it's gonna be so hot then. We'll see, we'll see what works. But we planted these flowers. Let me know, I forgot what these are actually called. These two are doing pretty okay, but these guys shriveled up pretty quick. So I think it has something to do with the light. These are supposed to do well in lower light or kind of more partial light. And these ones are doing pretty great and they get a decent amount of light. So I think I just need to move these more to where they're in the light. And we'll see if that helps a little bit, but I have these. I would really like to fill this planner. This is the one that I had on the balcony, if you guys remember. I'd love to fill that with maybe some herbs or something. We'll see, we also have over here, we also have this box over here that I think would be nice for herbs or vegetables or something. So I definitely plan to use that. We get really good irrigation, not a ton of light back here. Our landlord is thinking of coming and trimming some of these trees to get some more light in or not that tree, because that's our neighbor's tree, but the ones around here to see if we can get some more light. But I still think we could work with it. church now we ended up going to breadwinners after which is in uptown so good if you're looking for a good breakfast spot always hits the spot 
but I wanted to show you guys that I wore this dress. This is from my newly that I rented. I shared a try on haul in my last vlog, I believe, but I just think it's so cute. This is originally Free People. I think it comes in different colors, but I just think the yellow is so pretty. It's just a long maxi dress. It is so hot today. It's basically 100 degrees today. I'm thinking that I'm not going to go to the gym because I just don't think I have enough time today. I have a lot of stuff I want to get done. Yeah, we're just going to start fresh next week. We're going to go in the morning, which will be fine. I'm going to do a quick kind of tidy up. I want to vacuum just put things in their place switch some laundry over i have already noticed that it is a lot more handling a house as opposed to an apartment there's just a lot more nooks and crannies that get dusty need to water some plants outside and then i'm gonna go run a couple errands grab some stuff so that's the agenda and then when i get home i'm gonna build those nightstands that i mentioned <laughs> how we put together some of this guest bedroom. And by some, I mean, we literally built the bed, did the bedding, but I wanna add these nightstands that I got in the mail last week. These are from Nathan James. I'm so thankful to be partnering with them on today's video. I wanted to wait to actually build them in this video to share the building process because I know sometimes ordering furniture, that's the part that can be the most laborsome if it's difficult to build. And so I will give you guys a little review because I'm gonna build these on my own, which they seem pretty easy. They're not too big. They have so many different furniture pieces on their website that have that kind of designer look, but it is so affordable. I wish I knew about them whenever we actually bought the nightstands in our bedroom because those were so expensive. But these I believe were $180 each which i think is pretty affordable for nightstands and they just look so cute and i'm excited about these because i think they're going to kind of break up the room right now i have a lot a lot of kind of warm tones in here but these kind of add more of like a taupe look so i think that they're going to shake things up a little bit and just give the room more variety i've always wanted to create just like a cozy guest bedroom for people to stay with us so i'm excited to put these together but yeah nathan james always has free shipping they have a hundred day return policy so if you build something and realize that you're not totally in love with it you can return it within 100 days there's lifetime warranty i'm excited to see what all the hype is about i'm really looking forward to building these yeah i also have a code too i will put on the screen right here that's also linked down below you can shop any of their items down below but let's get to building okay i finished building the nightstands they look so great i love that the black legs and the black knob kind of contrast with the more warm brown tones that are in here the tans i think it looks really nice and it'll be nice because i would like to hang some sort of artwork we have a piece that i'm thinking about hanging up there but i just think that they really do kind of tie everything together look really really nice i just put some books in the middle up there just some kind of like little coffee table books it's nice too it has the door for storage too if anyone wants to store anything there i think it looks so great with the lamps that i had too such great quality too it was pretty easy to build too which is always nice whenever you're assembling furniture on your own we also have the other nightstand over here as well basically the same exact thing i also have some books up there too but i think that they both look so nice with the bed paired there. I'm really into symmetry. Again, this room does really need some artwork, some stuff on the walls, but for now, I think that this is just a very cozy and warm guest room for people to stay. And I love that these Nathan James nightstands really tie everything together. So I have Nathan James down below if you guys wanna check them out. Also with my code, I'll put that on the screen right here if you're looking for furniture. Again, they have so many different items. Such great prices if you are interested.
came and changed into some comfy clothes. I actually just made dinner. We're gonna do like a crispy chicken pineapple stir fry. It's a faster recipe from Half Baked Harvest. So I just made that, it's cooling right now. I wanna put together the bowls. Probably gonna eat that on the couch. I do have some computer work I would like to do tonight and it's kind of like a stormy, gloomy evening. So I'm probably just gonna hang out. We used to watch Succession on Sunday nights, but it's over. So we don't really have a Sunday night show anymore, which kind of sinks, but Let's go try this dinner. It looks good. Good morning. It's bright and early. Monday morning, 7.45. We're headed to the gym. It's still weird having to drive to the gym because I'm used to just being able to use our apartment gym. I'm gonna try to run today. I've been running lately and really enjoying it. I really just try to listen to my body right now. And in this gym, I can't find a good section to do my strength workouts. There are areas to do weights and machines and all that, but there's not really a great place to set my mat down and really just do my weights like I used to. And so I'm trying to figure that out. I am partly thinking about actually putting together some sort of home gym situation for strength workouts. We do have a garage. And so I think that I could do some sort of home gym situation in there. And especially when the baby comes, I'm just thinking about logistics of when Aiden goes back to work, trying to figure out working out and what that's going to look like obviously that's not going to be a priority for a long time but i think that it would be nice to have just some free weights and yeah that's really all i use when i do my sydney cummings strength workouts but i haven't really been doing them because i can't find a good section it's also a hard gym to film in i will say i do miss the apartment gym because it was just so small and was never really super crowded which is nice and this one i've never been in the morning time i've only been kind of at the peak after work so we'll see what it's like today that is the workout situation yeah, before my first trimester, I just really wasn't into running, but lately running has felt really, really good. So I'm just listening to my body, doing what I want. I'm probably just going to do three miles or so. Then maybe just some squats, some leg workouts, whatever, for 30 minutes or so. Today has truly been a whirlwind. It's already 1.30. I'm just getting some work done, working on some content I need to send in. And we had some people come actually trim our trees and they did such a great job because there's so much light now in our backyard because the issue with the backyard is the grass isn't really growing because there's not a ton of light. And I'm really thankful that our the person who owns the house is so tentative to everything like that. I feel like it's easy to run a place where they just don't care about stuff like that and they're like whatever but he had that done i also had coconut cleaning come clean our couch but that was in my last vlog i just talked about that in that one but yeah it's been so many people in and out of the house which i again i'm so thankful for i'm really happy that they're helping fix the house i just have felt so stimulated the past couple weeks have been i don't even remember if it's been two weeks or one week of being in this house but it has just been a lot and I am feeling a little bit overwhelmed today just because we're also going on a pretty long trip on Friday and I really want to keep up with my content and I also just have work deadlines and stuff like that and so there's just been a lot going on and I just wanted to say I'm sorry if the vlogs are feeling all over the place or not quite like normal. I promise things are gonna go back to how they were. And I just wanna get back into my slow kind of normal routine. That's what this vlog is today, but it has just been kind of one thing after the other. All really, really great things, but I am craving just being in a routine, getting back to all kind of like my normalcy that I'm used to, but we had family in town too last week. And so I just have a lot, a lot of work to catch up on. And sometimes when I'm recording and then also working at the same time, it can just be difficult to document everything. But again, all things that I'm thankful for, I feel very, very blessed in this season of life. I also feel very, very behind. So today's a catch up day. I'm really trying to catch up. So tomorrow I can just get all the things that I need to get done done and really get back into a routine. Preparing for our baby boy, all this stuff takes a lot, a lot of time. So I'm just feeling a little bit drained. Also, sometimes when I'm feeling overwhelmed, I just sit on the floor. For some reason, it makes me feel just a little bit more <laughs> grounded, if you will. There's probably some actual science behind doing that, but it just makes me happy sitting on the floor. 
I do have to say though, it is so nice now just having outdoor space to come out and take a little break, throw the ball with Mr. Cash. It is amazing. It also is not hot today. It was so hot yesterday that it feels good being out here. I want to get some sort of cover for this couch because right now it is just getting pretty dirty out here because we have so many trees right above it. I also would like to get just better outdoor furniture for here in general, like a table and a little sectional or something. I feel like that would look really nice out here, but that's kind of the last project I'm going to worry about right now, but I've just been vacuuming this in the meantime. It is Tuesday morning. It has been the best, just gloomy, stormy Tuesday morning. We actually woke up to just these really nice, just calming storms that hasn't happened in a long time. It's been raining a lot here lately, but not normally right in the morning. It's crazy. I actually lit a candle because I felt like that would be the vibe this morning, but I have talked about how I've stopped burning candles, but I just thought it was fitting this morning. I decided to light one and I immediately got a massive headache from how strong the scent is. It's crazy how when you're not used to having like fragrance in your home all the time your body's just not used to it and it really caught me off guard so I blew that out pretty quickly but I just got some work done on the couch I was waiting for it to stop raining so I'm about to take cash for a little walk it has been so nice waking up in this house it's just so peaceful and quiet and I love figuring out kind of my new morning routine here it's been really fun but yeah i didn't work out this morning just because i had to do some stuff for uploading my video this morning i do want to keep it real though i love this house it is so so great but the backyard is definitely just a muddier situation i don't know yards so i don't really know what is causing this i think it was because the grass wasn't really growing because we had so many trees so it was just really shaded thankfully they came and trimmed the trees but our backyard is basically a giant mudslide right now. And so it's nice to have the backyard for cash, but a lot of times it's really not usable because if I were to let him out there right now, I can't even imagine what he would look like. There's so much mud and I don't know how long that's gonna take to go away. So yeah, it's nice having the backyard, but it really hasn't been the most usable thing in the world because it's just been raining so much lately and it's really, really muddy out there. But that's just life. I'm sure that hopefully the grass will start growing again but those are things when you're renting you don't want to try to fix because this isn't our house but yeah i'm just keeping it real not everything is perfect there are a few quirks here and there but yeah i'm gonna go ahead and walk cash and then get ready for the day I really want to put in a proper full length mirror somewhere in the house so I can start showing my outfits better. We don't really have one set up, but this dress is from my newly. And when I first tried this on, when I originally got my newly in the mail, my rental that I do, I wasn't so sure about it, but I really like it now. I think that it's so fun. It is a little bit interesting with having the bump just because it has this cutout right here, but I feel like right now I'm still at an early enough stage where it's doable, but I think that it's really, really cute. It's also just a really nice light linen. Probably not the best when it's raining, but I'm not really doing anything crazy, so. I love just wearing dresses. There's I have really only been wearing dresses and skirts right now because I don't have pants besides leggings that really fit or kind of like linen looser pants I could wear, but it's just so much more comfortable living in dresses right now. It's kind of my plan for the summer. I feel more comfortable in dresses anyways. For the game plan today, I first off want to take down this balloon garland just because it is time for it to go. I want to pick up some of the gender reveal stuff that we had up. So we're going to do that. I want to run and get some photos developed because I want to update my little journal that I'm doing. I want to share that in a reel on my Instagram. So I'm going to update one of the pages, like my little baby book I've been using, have some editing I want to work on. I also would like to go to the gym later. I'll probably do like a afternoon, later afternoon, evening workout. Abe and I are going to have a little date night. We're going to go to Hudson House, which we've been to once around Christmas time. It's really, really pretty for Christmas, but we're just going to grab dinner there tonight because I'm kind of feeling a break from cooking, which I haven't been sharing my meals because I'm doing a whole separate what I eat in a week video that'll be up next week. So that is why we haven't been cooking, but I've been cooking a lot at home lately. So I'm excited for a bit of a break. Four feet on the stripes in the Alabama highway. Out there in the open, just a wishing and a hoping. There's something about 
about being in this dress, popping balloons with a knife just seems so funny to me. <laughs> I discovered in the guest bathroom, they actually have a picture hanger already hung up. And so I'm gonna hang one of these paintings. These are both by Aiden's dad. I'm gonna see which one I like better. This one is definitely my favorite one because this is of Brooklyn Heights where Aiden and I met, but I'm not sure if the brown's gonna look weird with the kind of black wallpaper. So if so, I think that this gold one would also look nice, so we'll see. Okay, I went with this one just because there is a lot of gold in this bathroom, and so I think that the gold frame looks better, but kind of nice to find that. We haven't really hung a ton of stuff because we actually need to get stuff to hang all of our art, but I'm glad that I found that because it was nice. I could just stick it up, and I think it looks good. In the palm tree lightning It was nothing you did I just felt my low light. I didn't end up vlogging when I was running errands. It was really nothing exciting, but I wanted to share this because I've shared this before. I'm recording a little reel, which is why I changed into this yellow dress because I just think it's so cute. I've shared this before. I've been trying to keep up with this baby book. I got this from Etsy and I really like it because you can actually do a lot of entries in it within your pregnancy too. And then of course, when your baby is born and then up to their five, I believe. But it's so cute. It has like a pregnancy memory section. It has a section where you can put all your ultrasounds, section for the baby shower, and then going home, your family tree. It is so cute. And I feel like something like this just totally screams first time mom, because I know by the second, the odds of being able to keep up with this are probably gonna be slimmer, but I just think it's so much fun. So I'll link this down below if you're pregnant, if you are having a baby, even if you already have a baby, I think it'd be sweet to go back through your photos and do this. Again, it does take a bit of time, which is why I'm doing it right now before I actually have our baby, but I wanted to fill in some entries from our gender reveal. So I had these printed at CVS. I think that they're so cute, but I'm gonna add this to one of the pages. There's really only, a couple of pregnancy memory sections. And so we'll see where I'm gonna put these, but I just wanted to share this because I'm recording a little reel of it too, because I thought it'd be sweet to share with everyone. It's also just been such a cozy afternoon. We just had a random storm. We keep having very random storms lately, but it's really nice. It's about three o'clock, I'm headed to the gym. I think I'm gonna bring my mat and just attempt one of my strength workouts. I'm gonna find a spot. It's always just so weird going to a new gym. You have to find a routine and you feel like everyone's watching you, which I know they're not, but yeah, we, we gotta figure it out. But for the outfit, I am wearing this top that is from Amazon, just a cropped t-shirt. And then these biker shorts are also from Amazon. It's funny because when I originally bought these, I bought these before I was pregnant and I always thought that they were way too loose. I didn't like how they just didn't fit me really well, but now that I'm pregnant, I love them because they're just really loose and they're really soft. I feel like they just feel really good over the bump. I don't love the gray ones, but my black and navy ones are dirty and I need to do some laundry. So I'm wearing the gray ones. They just show a little bit more when you wear gray, but it's all good. workout definitely not my best workout but it felt good to get it in nonetheless it was funny as i was coming home adam was pulling out because he's gonna go get his hair cut i'm excited for a date night though tonight i feel like we have it went on just like a little date night dressed up had a meal just the two of us so i'm excited for that but i did get a couple of amazon packages i wanted to share with you guys this is one that i actually was hoping was going to come in before i went to the gym but I ordered some workout tops because I have a few of the Align tops from Lululemon. And to be totally honest, these are kind of like Align dupes on Amazon, but I, at least right now, I've really been liking these more because they just fit a little bit looser. I take the cups out of them and I wear a sports bra and I love them for working out. They're just really, really comfortable. And so I got this pretty blue color. I also got these in a medium. The one right now that I have is a small, but I just wanted to get mediums in case down the road, medium just fits me better. Something about pregnancy that I've been trying to do as I just grow, my body changes, is put away the stuff that just doesn't fit anymore or 
I don't feel super confident in and instead of dwelling in that because I'm so thankful for the way that my body is changing and growing to support our baby and I want it to be something that's really positive and so for me just kind of packing those things up not necessarily getting rid of them for down the road but just not looking at them and seeing them every day I think helps a lot also got a white one I'll have these linked down below lastly just a black one too so I really like these tops. I like wearing them with biker shorts. And yeah, just kind of sizing up where I need to makes me feel better. And the next thing, I actually got these for my flowers that I planted, although I checked the forecast and it's supposed to rain nearly every single day for the next couple of weeks or so. And so I don't even know if I'm gonna need to put these out there because nature is kind of doing this for me. When we travel, I wanted to have these kind of self-watering bulbs. I've never used these before. Let me know if you've used them and if you like them. And I'm thinking about just sticking these in some of my planners that I have. So even the ones that I have around the house, just for longer trips, I think that these would be nice to have. We do plan on having someone stay here, but I just like to know that my plants are taken care of. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and take a shower, get ready for tonight, and then also work on a little bit of editing before our dinner, which I'm so excited. very very nice i'm about to do some self tanning and then watch our show on the couch we've been watching gilmore girls lately it's probably my third time watching gilmore girls but aiden's never seen it so again if you guys want to check out nathan james i will have them linked down below thanks for being here i'll catch you guys in the next one bye friends